What's happening, monkeys? Darren from Tech Monkeys here with a uh, what should be the first in a series of videos where we're looking to answer your tech questions, problems, and how tos. Uh, stay tuned to the end of this video where you can get more info on how to get your tech questions answered. This first video is going to be addressing a problem that arose on our YouTube channel. Earlier last year, we uploaded a video entitled Outlook 2016 Search Not Working. This was meant to be a video for us to show Microsoft and the uh, Microsoft engineers we were working with at the time that Outlook search didn't work in 2016. Basically, you search for an email, it just didn't show up. Um, what it wasn't meant to be is a fix for that problem because there wasn't one. There wasn't one around at, the, uh, at that time. Um, as it happened, the video became quite popular and turned up on lots of search results and people got angry because there was no fix. So we're here to address that. Uh, there is now a fix, and credit to Theron Mullins in the YouTube comments who came up with this fix. Uh, has over, over 80 people saying, thank you, fix actually works. We've tested it as well on our customers, and it does actually work. So, without further ado, here's how you fix the problems. You'll be glad to know it's nice and quick. So, you want to be in your Outlook profile. We're just in a uh, made-up profile here for the purpose of the video. And you want to go into File, then Options, then into Search indexing options, click modify button, then untick Outlook. Might seem a bit counterintuitive, but stick with us, stick with us, click close, okay, and back out of that. Now go back into file, this time into account settings, and back into account settings. Choose the data file tab, and if you've got more than one, make sure you're uh, opening the right uh, data file for the right email account, and click open file location. What this will bring up is all your Microsoft OST and NST files that are associated with all your email accounts. So make sure you've got the right one selected. You want the OST, not the NST. Right click on that file, choose properties, choose advanced, and tick this box here. Allow this file to have its contents indexed in addition to file properties. So you can see just by reading that, it's going to index, Outlook is going to index the contents of that file, which is what we wanted all along. Why it's not there by default, I couldn't tell you. Ask Microsoft. Um, so what that'll do is that'll tell Outlook now that when you're searching, you want it to search the contents of your email file. Makes sense to me, makes uh, sense to everyone but Microsoft. Once you've done that, what you need to do is go back to your Outlook, back into File, Options, back into Search, back into Indexing Options, Modify, and this time re retick it. That will then tell Outlook to start indexing that file, to start building up a history of what's in that file. So when you search for the content of an email, it will show up. As I say, thanks again to Theron Mullins uh, in the YouTube comments on the last video. He's the guy that pointed out the uh, actual fix for it. And as I say, thanks again for watching. Make sure you send us your request for help, assistance, and tech knowledge by commenting on this video or on any of our videos or hitting us up on Twitter. Also, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. It really does all help us keep these videos going. And until next time, happy surfing.